today on Toy Shiz, make sure the volume's turned all the way up. We got a shway new figure to look at. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. And today, I'm stoked. This has been a great week. We had Ghostbusters, and now we got the new Batman Beyond Shriek action figure from their DC Multiverse line. This is the Target exclusive collect to build Joker bot version of Shriek. This is figure number two. Now three and four will be out. Three will be out in two months, and then four will be out uh, four months from now. So they're going every two months, they're releasing a new figure. But yeah, you should find Shriek very soon, hitting Target stores and being sent out online if you pre ordered that way. And like I said, you're building this really crazy looking Future's End Joker bot. And here's the barcode if you want to screen grab him. So when you're walking around the store, you can just, do, do, you know, just. Zap it. See if they got any in the back for you. Just keep in mind, there are two Shriek figures, much like there's two Batman Beyond figures. This is the unmasked Shriek that will be available everywhere. So the one we're looking at today is at Target. This one will be everywhere. He doesn't come with his helmet, which is a very cool design. Again, they're getting you to buy two. That's how they're doing it. But at the same time, I'll show you in just a second. This one comes with a little extra something that I wish this one had. It's like, it's like they know. They just, they got to get you... Some way, somehow. You smart, McFarlane Toys. I see what you're doing. Now, if you're not familiar with Walter Shreve, he is Shriek from Batman Beyond, the cartoon series, of course. Really nice, elegant design to Shriek. Always liked him in the cartoon. He was actually part of the Iniquity Collective from Epilogue from Batman Beyond slash Justice League Unlimited. If you've seen that episode, hashtag keep Epilogue a secret. But this one most specifically is a more beefed up, pumped up comic book version of of Shriek when they kind of sort of started the comic from the animated series and then went full-blown comic books with it, if that makes any sense. So this is really the comic book version of Shriek, but I am so stoked to have it because they've never had a Shriek action figure before. So color me excited. I'm stoked. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman Beyond Shriek action figure, Target exclusive, part of the Collectibuild joker bot wave and much as shriek made his awesome debut in the animated series so he does on my shelf as well he comes with two joker bot pieces there are the arms you get a nice sound ricochet effect which is awesome and then you get a really gorgeous looking action figure i'm going to say this all day he does come with a trading card as well it's just photos of the figures but you can screen grab this if you'd like to know more about Shriek, Walter Shreve, yada yada. It was in a couple episodes, Batman Beyond. All pretty good, actually. So he does come with two of these arms for the Joker bot. So you got like a Gatling gun arm. And then this one's more like a human Batman arm. So very cool. And I'll go ahead and each one I do from now on. So next one up is Batwoman Beyond. We'll just start putting them together ever so slightly. Usually I like to put them all. But I keep... I don't want to lose these two joint pieces you just got to be careful and uh, yeah the arms hook in nice then you got like the butterfly piece just make sure that's in there and then just snap that oh that actually went in a lot easier than the other side but yeah you got the joker bot so far so good we got some more pieces coming for this guy but i really like this sound blast effect right here you can just see the little finger holes right there so he'll hold on to that and i just Love the way that that looks. It's just a really nice effect pieces. I love when action figures come with powers and effects and such. But the Shriek figure is just really cool. Largely an all black character. He does have some extra sculpt lines, the comic book type lines, right? That they do instead of just being that Bruce Tim sort of angled design. But it does add to this character. And I really like the little blue accents of the. Oh my god. Totally turned on the sound device right there. And if you've seen Babel, you'll totally get that joke. Ha ha! <laughs> god. Hey, I gotta do something to keep you guys uh, into this. But yeah, the articulation on this guy rocks. And I really like the way they designed the shoulder pads of the suit. It's a very flexible rubber. So it doesn't rub. It doesn't cut into the other parts. It just kind of glides over there with some ball joints, right? With some butterfly joints. And you get some really nice articulation out of that, especially when putting his hands up, his arms up. So that is really cool to see. 
Also, the oddness of his suit works well with his articulation. So he'll spin essentially at his hands. He also has some pivot. Nothing spins at the elbow, but he has double jointed elbows. So the suit makes his arms really long. It's like that in the comics, but it makes the figure that much more articulated, especially with a more robotic type harness on him. But it works really well. The one thing I will say is that much like the pins right here, they're the wrong colors. It's like when you get the Marvel Legends Spider-Man. That's kind of a, eh, I wish they could have fixed that sort of deal. You get a nice ab crunch in the sense he goes nice back, but forward, again, as I pointed out with certain McFarlane toys, I wish they would crunch a little bit more. The head has perfect articulation from left, right, up, and down. You get a nice range of movement out of there. This crotch piece, the rubberized piece, not like the Nightwing one where I've had it looks like a diaper. This one really just flushes a lot more so you get a lot of rotation in the legs double jointed knees the ball joint on this one is better they're hiding it a little bit better so that's cool in that sense and you don't have a ball joint here obviously in the wrist in the sense that it'll, it's you know it's a human's wrist we'll say but just overall for the type of character shriek is this thing rocks and then in applying his sound blast it's really easy obviously you see the thumb and then the fingers from his sound suit and if you just kind of take a second it'll take you like two seconds but you kind of have to hook each individual finger and as you can see once it's in once you have the fingers in which are nice rubber right they'll hook in there and it'll snag it nicely and he holds it well you could shake him and everything else the one prob is that I wish he had two. And again, much like the Batman Beyond figures that we just got, the unmasked shriek comes with two sound blasts. And they are different. This one's more of like a whoa, 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 and this one's more of a circular type look. So that's the one thing I feel like it is missing. One caveat to say, you know, the articulation. While I like it in their wrists, I wish you could fold it back just a little bit more because when he's doing the sound blasting stuff, it would look a lot more naturalistic. When you want to pair him up with Batman Beyond that just came out, I think they go rather nice together. Now, Shriek in the cartoon was around Terry McGinnis's height, but I really don't mind it for this. Shriek can be a little bit taller, a little bit buffer in that sense. When you put him up next to the old Mattel figure, he definitely dwarfs him. So in that sense, he does fit better with the more seven inch McFarlane figures. You can still use it, but I just think it fits better scale wise. When you pose him with the Batman Beyond, throwing a Batarang, Streak's gonna lose his hearing, all that kind of stuff. You have a lot of fun taking photographs. This is a great action figure. Very stoked to finally have a bad guy. He poses well, he looks great, he's menacing. This is shriek very few qualms with this figure overall i do prefer this version over the unmask when i see the unmasked version just because i'm a big fan of batman beyond i will pick that one up as well outside of having just an extra sound blast piece and in having pieces for the joker bot i think you're gonna fare well with this figure no i don't agree in having to buy two figures to really get the whole enchilada of shriek but this is a very cool figure and I really like it, and I'm a huge fan of Batman Beyond, and I'd like to see more villains going forward. I know we have Blight coming, and we have Batwoman Beyond, but I am curious which villains you would like to see going forward if DC Multiverse continues making Batman Beyond figures. And thank you again to McFarland Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, let's one of these days we'll have the egg baby we gotta have the egg baby and stalker and ink and sneak peek whatever else and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios